without a doubt, my favorite tool right now from the last year is Cloud Code. Now, there are multiple uh, variations of this. You get uh, Cursor's agent, you get OpenAI Codex, but Cloud Code has been the AI assistant that I've been using uh, for quite some time now, and it's my favorite one. Now, uh, talking to a few teams out there, a few friends, I realized that it's not common knowledge that you can actually make cloud code way better than what it comes out of the box by just connecting cloud code to multiple tools, just like you would uh, connect Visual Studio Code or a cursor to other tools. So. I'm going to show you today one of the tools that I use and how you can connect it to Cloud Code to make the code generated by this assistant way, way better than what you would get without the tool. So, first of all, in order for you to connect to any tool using Cloud Code, uh, you can create a simple .mcp.json file, and here you will define any MCP servers that you want to connect to. And an MCP server, if you're not familiar with the term, it's basically like an API that offers a few tools that the agent, in this case, Cloud Codes agent, is going to be able to check and, and to use in order to perform any activity. So in this particular case, I'm using Sneak. And if you're not familiar with it, Sneak is basically a service that will check the quality of your code for any security vulnerabilities, any, any problems, basically, it's going to audit your source code and it's going to make sure there are no security issues with your code. And what's really, really cool about this is that I can configure Clock Code not only to give it access to these tools, but also force Clock Code to use this tool before generating any code just to ensure that the quality of that code is much better. Before the tool, the quality of the code is whatever Cloud Code decides. Uh, it should write after the tool Cloud Code can use that tool to improve the quality of that code, which is super, super cool. So I have this file, and as you can see, I already have that server configured. And the way you will configure a server, it really depends on the MCP server. You will have to read the documentation. In this particular case, I have Sneak running on my computer. I downloaded it, and that's what I'm pointing. You know, I'm pointing the server to this particular location. So that is already running, and I can just go back to Cloud Code and just make sure it has access to that. You can say something like list uh, the MCP tools you have access to, and I know it's going to have access to those tools because, again, they're part of the .mcp.json file. But here, Cloud Code is basically going to tell me, yeah, I do have access to all of these security tools, which is which is awesome. Now, look at this. I went to the cloud.md file, which is the file where you would write instructions uh, for, for Cloud. So Cloud is going to use this file to understand what to do on your particular project. These are the instructions for this project that I'm currently working on. And I have a section that I added at the bottom of the file that says security requirements. And that section says, after generating any code, always run a sneak open source scan using this particular tool. Okay, so very simple instruction that is asking Cloud Code not to create any code without first doing a security scan. So let's just give that a try and you'll see how good that works. I'm going to ask a Clack code to create a new Python script that connects to SageMaker. SageMaker is AWS SageMaker where I have models running and whatnot and checks whether specified endpoint is running. Okay, so I'm asking it to just go and create that particular code. Notice that I don't have to specify anything related to a security scan. So I'm I just I'm gonna keep using Cloud Code the way I was, but because I modified my instructions, now Cloud Code will run that security uh, scan here. So uh, it's trying to run this. I'm gonna say yes 
run this file. So now it's uh, adding required dependencies for AWS SageMaker. Notice that what comes next, the task that comes next, well, it removed it here. Let me just, uh, do you want to proceed? Yes, let's add that. Notice that next it says run sneak security scan on dependencies. So that is automatically one of the tasks now that uh, Cloud is going to run just because we asked it to do that. So now it's running that security scan. So Snake is just gonna go and check all of the code that and all of the actions that Cloud took. And depending on the output that we get from Snake, then Cloud is gonna finalize the task or it's gonna go into a loop fixing any issues reported by Snake. So let's wait for it to finish. Notice that here we got back six issues. So there are six issues from the security uh, scan. Uh, let's see what it does. So this is how you will use the endpoint. This is how you will specify the region and uh, the feature. No, the security scan found some vulnerabilities in Jupyter Labs JavaScript dependencies, but these do not affect the Python script we created. The bottle three and click dependencies we added are secure. So this is awesome because now we know that the code that we just generated using Cloud Code is secure. This is how you go from out of the box capabilities on an AI agent like Cloud Code or Corsairs agent or Codex and make it way better by adding all of these plug and play components that are going to improve the quality of your code. So I hope this is helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.